So now we're heading into the main house. Let me give you a tour of what, what's going on in here. You can see when you come in, I'm going to kind of shine the light, but all of this dark marking is from the inhabitants that live here now, the bats. Yes, so we do have bats. This is something that we're going to have to make sure we get cleaned up. We do have, yeah, we do have wasps, as you can see there. In the winter, in about a month, all these wasps' nests will be, gone. We'll will be empty. Gone. They'll be gone for the season to other latitudes, and we will take that advantage of that time. See, look, you can see one right there that's pretty heavily populated. Uh, once they leave for the winter, we will detach all those nests, and once people are living here, then it'll be easy to keep uh, out of, uh, keep them from getting to that size basically because we'll keep an eye on it and also if we're thinking about maybe growing bees and beehives then that will also deter uh, or at least decrease the uh, bitache population. Correct. Um, we got, this is what we're considering maybe to be like a dining slash buffet, maybe prep area. We don't know, we'll figure it out when we all get in here. Um, there's a couple windows, some skylights, you know, we should probably consider getting those PVC'd off somehow. As you can see the rebar is still coming through. It doesn't look like they finished what they were planning on doing in this room. Yeah, there was probably a something, an overhang there or something that, because that's not tall enough for something else. But no, it just looks like they were making another kind of shelf or something. I don't know. Yeah. And then this leads into what area is considered the kitchen. Yeah. And see, I was thinking on one of my grand ideas that because I've learned in Mexico, like when you go to the taco stands and stuff, sometimes the building is like only half a building. It's probably like this tall. And there's a gap, you know, about this, this far between the building and the palapa and the, the air goes through and it's because it gets so hot. So I was thinking if there was a way we could make a kitchen off this, but you guys already saw the backside and that, that looks, you know, pretty rough. So we probably have to still do that in another location and make a big, nice oven. But... Well, if we clear that area, we might be able to. There is also another room up here. Um, there is no way to get up there. We don't know what it looks like right now. Yeah, when, uh, we need a ladder. We, we don't have a ladder. We do need to bring a ladder next time because there are several points that we need to, we can only access... With a ladder. Yeah, and we need to find out what's... And this looks like it would be like pantry storage area, dry goods and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this room was designed as staff quarters, right? Staff living area up I here. I believe so, yeah, like up in that top part. Yeah, and this would be, yes, pantry. It's very dark here, obviously. And this would be the kitchen area then. That, like Jamie said, could, could if we clear up that area behind it, have a, an outdoor cooking uh, area well. As yeah, well. it is flat enough out with that bamboo that we could probably lay like a nice little stone, you know, pathway of a lot of loose surface rocks around here and probably build up like a cob oven, you know, style area with an outdoor grill, you know, have a nice big palapa over the top. Mm -hmm. So, okay, now, now we Somebody back wanted to, the to see the, yeah. Somebody wanted oh, to yeah. see the, uh... I'm going to take shots of it, too. Okay. This is the fireplace. I'm going to let Ricardo go because he went and stood inside it next last time. Oh, and yeah. This, well, we're inside the main, the main hall of the main house. The bedrooms are off in this direction right here. There's six of them. And here in this main hall area, as you can see, we have uh, six meter tall ceilings. They're very high, 18 feet, 20 feet. And, uh, and it's anchored at this end of the wall by this huge fireplace. You can see how big it is because I'm standing next to it. It's so big that I can stand inside of it. Let me just make sure there's nobody crawling up my ear. <laughs> As you can see, it's pretty big. And it has no flue. It doesn't have a flue, so when it rains, it comes down right directly. So we need to put a flue in that fireplace before we use it at the rainy season, but it's fully operational, it's solid brick, and it, it's the centerpiece for the dining hall area. We have two big skylights here as well that we need to be covered, we need to eventually be covered with uh, probably acrylic, right? Mm-hmm. Some kind of acrylic there. 
Now, if you see right behind Ricardo, you'll see the two doors. I'm going to turn this way so you can see these other four doors. These are what are considered the bedrooms, each with a bath. We're going to just show you one because they're all set up the exact same way. Yeah, they all have the same floor plan. Some of the times it's mirrored, but it's all the same floor plan. Here, yeah. would you like the big flashlight for that yeah. closet? Yeah. Because it is very dark. But this is the room probably with the most light. Yeah, that's why I'm picking this one. Well, this is the bedroom area. The, uh, that's... I believe five meters, and that's around four meters. So you have 20 square meters of, of living area. Big window, and if we do some pruning on the outside, you'd have a beautiful view of the, uh, nice of the light valley, too. of the hills in front of you. And basically all we need, I mean, to make this part of the house livable right now for like the core team, people that know they're gonna be roughing it, not obviously people uh, that you know want some type of comfort. But to make it livable right now for working here, all we need to do is screen these windows, put some woven um, palm petate, some mats on the floor, and these, these places are livable. Obviously, we need some good cleanup. And now let's look at this area here, which is the bathroom area that each one of these bedrooms has. This is the closet area, correct? Yeah. Correct. Yeah, this would be the closet area where you put up your shelves. Are you getting enough light there? Yeah. Yeah. This would be your closet, and then you go through them. You just make sure there's no crazy bats gonna come flying out into my face right now. You gotta walk cautiously here. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, I'm not gonna no lie one's to you. been here, babe. <laughs> make sure there's no wasps nest. Oh, there's a bat right there. Ooh. Looky here. There's a oh oh oh. He's coming out. I'm letting him through. No, oh, hang on. Let's see if you can get him. I See? got him. He flew. Oh, baby. Yeah, we're not gonna lie. There's bats in here. It's dark. <laughs> it's damp. You know, that's how they like it. And that's one of the things we need to do is screen off that place. And if we screen off here, if we if we say, okay, let's we're gonna set up and live in this room. Okay, so we screen this area too. We, we can just make a screen door to this size. And, uh, and just seal off this area from the critters, let them live on the outside, but... And it'll be kind of rough, it'll be kind of outdoorsy in the, on the inside, but... You'll still, you know, you're not gonna get the bats. <laughs> you're not gonna get the wasps, and you're not gonna get uh, anything else, pretty much. So, that on, on an immediate, on an immediate uh, level, we could do that, basically, to make this place livable. Like Jamie was saying, there's another option is to make uh, immediate livable space in the. Uh, and we're gonna go explore yeah, that next. In the old house, and we're gonna go look at the old house right now too. So you kind of get an idea, right? We're yeah, gonna... we're good. I'm it's cutting. A square. It's yeah. a square with another square and another square. Yep. All right, everybody. We'll see you at the secondary house.